Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and today we are finally reviewing the KO Combiner Wars Bruticus plus Prime Wars Blast Off we have with this team because it makes sense because we want a space shuttle blast off, okay? First and foremost, we're going to take a look at these vehicle modes. Time, starting with... Sorry about that, moving the combined mode foot guns out of the area. Start off with the Onslaught, and he's like some sort of armed military, sort of, sort of, uh, turret truck thing. Which I think is kind of cool for what it, it is for a KO. But it does have the guns where it can like pew pew, bang bang. Just like the Combiner Wars one. And it rolls. Like rolling things should and I love that. Ooh. But now we're going to get on to KO Combiner Wars Swindle. Which looks very good in my opinion. I love this swindle. He rolls. He's not completely G1 accurate. But he's in the color scheme. And looks like a Jeep. So he passes. Uh, here we have Commander Wars Brawl. Looking very impressive. Using Vortex's gun. As an extra machine gun. I only put that on there because it fell off the helicopter mode. So please don't judge. And he kind of slides a little bit. Brawl slides. Doesn't roll. Which is a shame. They could have added roll into him. They could have. Especially for the shipping I paid for this guy. <laughs> now it's time to Vortex. And Vortex is a neat military, a neat helicopter. He has a... He flies, he can go pew pew, bang bang, rollerblades, spin if I get my hands out of there. See? Kind of neat. I like it. And now we're going to compare the... Combiner Wars... Last off with the Prime Wars version. The Prime Wars version looks more like a space shuttle. And this one is more of a jet, which I get makes sense, but I like the space shuttle as the arm. So, this ain't a bad figure. I will say it's not a bad figure, it's just my not my cup of tea. So I'm going to throw him off to the side. Because I want my Bruticus looking more G1-ish on my shelf. So, don't judge. It is my perspective. And now we're going to get to transformation with these guys. We'll start out with Onslaught. Because he's very simple. Split the arms. Split the cab of the truck to form the arms. And there goes a gun falling off. <laughs> the bird gets head. <laughs> rotate. Rotate. <sighs> Looks really good for a KO. Flip out down his arms. Fold in this panel. Reconnect his gun to the backpack. Flip out his head. You can leave the guns on his backpack for storage. That's what I like to do with the guns. And I like to have him holding this one as his main weapon. In both robot mode and vehicle mode. So, he's not completely armless. So, yeah, I had an extra one of those on the R&D Ruination. Now it's time to transform the guy who will swindle you, Swindle. <laughs> Which he's very simple. 
disconnect the arms, fold out, flip up the head, rotate, flip this up, and I may got some sticky stuff on, on them, I don't have anything to wash that off, so, or maybe it's just something that's sticking, I don't know how, so please don't judge, I must have done it unconsciously. There we have Swindle in his robot mode. He's very impressive. Really great head sculpt for Swindle. Has more of the black face like he had in the G1. Which I do like. KO edition Swindle gets a thumbs up for that. And now we're going to transform the Master... Of the most destructive of the Combaticons. Brawl. <laughs> and I like Brawl. I don't like movie Brawl, but I like Combiner Wars Brawl. Because he packs a wallop. <laughs> well, I say he packs a wallop. So if he, you got hit by Brawl, you'd be down for the count. And I'm reviewing these as sets because these are sets off eBay. So I saved on money. I saved a hundred bucks when paying for these. Which were a lot cheaper than buying the American releases. So please don't judge all them. They are good looking. They are the exact same figures. Just for half of the price. And I didn't pay a hand out of pocket for it. So, I love them for what they are. And they are good looking figures that pull off what I want them to pull off. Fold out the arms, like so. Cordy in the turret. And flip out the head, and there we have Big Bad Combiner Wars Brawl. Looking very impressive and very tall. I love it. And now for Prime Wars Blast Off, which I'll transform him on camera. Very simple, very easy. The best Combiner Wars Blast Off we ever got blast off because Prime Wars did better than Combiner Wars now many of you would say Combiner Wars is better why buy the Prime Wars version because the Prime Wars version looks more like a space shuttle and only G1 fan said blast off a space shuttle and that's what he is to me a space shuttle But it's not military accurate, so please don't judge. <laughs> don't judge. I'm just that obsessed with perfection. If I want a Combiner Wars team, I'm going to want it accurate to the show I watched. And to the... I never was around when the G1 came out. Not joking, because... It was before I was born, but I fell in love with them after I got the series on VHS, and then I was like, I should check out more Transformers when I'm old enough, older. So I finally did when I started reviewing, so, and I found reason to love these figures. So, these figures of yesteryears, and collect them as my pride and joy. And I love the Transformers Bay movies. The good ones, at least. Like Last Night Wasn't Half Bad, Age of Extinction. They were all really good. But there we have our Combiner Wars KO team. That forms Bruticus. And just to show you what KO Blastoff looks right next to 
regular blast off because some of you be asking, why don't you do a comparison of that since you just reviewed it? I'm gonna do it. Just give me a second. I memorized. It's the same articulation as my Fireflight figure. So yeah. And just for you completists, here he is next to the orig original version and the old version and the new version. New version, better. This one, not bad, but not as good as this one. In my opinion. So now that we have reviewed the individual modes, let's get down to Combining them into Bruticus. This is going to be fun, really, for me. Combine, transform, and combine into into Bruticus. Sorry, I had to pull them. I like using the Transformers noise. <laughs> Fold. I am Rotacus. The transformation is a bit of a pain. <sighs> But these KO figures are really good. Tabbed and combined is a pain. Yep. Come on. Now something goes right. Sorry about that, fans. Brawl was giving me a little bit of fussy problems. But there we have Brawl in his leg mode. Ready to... Ready to go. Or combining. Swindle's going to be a whole lot easier. Bring in the combined mode foot for Swindle. Accordion everything back up. So we're going to partially transform them again. So there we got all done. Second verse. Just like the first. Fold it around the head, fold it up, fold that inwards, leave the foot at a flat angle, and there you got a, a limb all done. This, uh, we're going to tab it right into place, and... These pegs are a little stubborn on the KO edition. So please don't judge. They're a little bit stubborn with the peg system. Now we can put this 
gun back on the swindle. Maybe that. Got the legs situated. Onslaught. We're going to bring his shoulders like this way. Fold down like that. See there, we got an arm situated. Second verse, just like the first. Peg it into the little hole as soon as I can get it in the hole. Fold this part and accordion it down. And that makes an arm. Untab these parts. Rotate. Flip down this to close up his head. And now we're going to flip these parts around like so and now we're going to tab the port into the combiner port as you can see so far so good I've done this a bunch of times because Bruticus gets really tall we have to adjust the camera to focus. Oh, and the camera just fell. So please don't judge. We are at a critical stage. I'm gonna fold this piece down, and that will form the the crotch. Now we fold these pieces in. We're ready for the next step. Form in the arms. So we're going to do some partial transformation. Fold Blastoff's arms, accordion his arms downwards. Like, like so. Like so, as you can see. Fold them up, accordion it. Flip out the nose cone. A little bit stubborn piece. Flip up the uh, pieces. Make sure they tab into place. Good. Flip out the combine mode peg. And then you got an arm. You got an arm already. And now we're going to put this gun into the port. More detail to it. This is what I like to do. We're going to plug in the combined mode. Hand into the port. Put the gun in the hand. The new gun I have to put into his hand. The gun I have to to represent Bruticus's big melee gun. And now we're going to fold this back. And there we got an arm. All done. And so far, Bruticus is turning out great. Now we're going to do the same thing with Vortex. Flip up his head. Rotate his biceps. Fold up these parts to form the shoulders, like so, and there you have an arm, ready for combined mode fist insert. And there we have it, and just because it doesn't hurt to double arm Bruticus, because double arm, like arm him to the teeth because he's Bruticus. He's always armed. Now we're going to plug in this mode limb. And if I can get it to test. But boom. 
there we have Combiner Wars Brutacus in his glory. And I love this KO edition. Where I got this was Amazon. Not Amazon, but eBay. I got this from eBay for 31 bucks for a KO edition shipped from China. You could probably find this maybe on, I don't know, eBay or, like, America release maybe for a good price. I'm not sure on Amazon. Maybe you can find it at a convention or some garage sale complete. I don't know. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.